Our history has shaped us more than what we think it has. And we've had plantation capitalism for almost 300 years. We imposed it on the Indians because we took the land from them and reduced them to poverty. We refused to recognize the right of women for equality. We hung people who we called uh, witches. We established slavery of African people for 250 years. And we continued the economic oppression of that system with Jim Crow law, which saying that certain kinds of people could not do certain kinds of work. So we joined the women with the um, boycott of ourselves in what kind of work we do. You couldn't be school teachers, you couldn't be police officers, you couldn't do this, you couldn't do that. So the lack of access. So all, all of that I consider plantation capitalism. Plantation capitalism's major error is sees all kinds of people who are not human beings. I see it especially today in the effort to reduce workers' benefits and pay. And in particular, with the large millions of people who work, sometimes two adults in the same household working, and still have to struggle to be sure they're going to have food next week. They can give not, cannot give the kind of attention they want to give to their children because they must work two and three jobs just to make ends meet. I use an ancient term coming out of the colonial period of religion. Corruption meant that you say one thing and you refuse then to try to work on it and make it happen. So you do not practice what you preach. And the Democratic Party pretends to be for the welfare of the American people, but again and again comes down on the side of fracking, on the side of hedge funds and Bank of America comes down all the time on using our military bases abroad for the purpose of subduing, subduing other people and dominating them. It comes down again and again on the side of global economics, which means that the flow of wealth and minerals from Africa, Latin America, Asia will continue to come towards Berlin and Washington. Escalating the violence in the Middle East is yet another way of controlling international events so that the peoples of the earth cannot be about their own business, which is the business of work, family, caring for our children, nurturing one another, and, and recognizing our the common creation. That's 1,400, according to the press, versus 100,000 who's already dead and been killed. The 1,400 is bad enough. The 100,000 is much worse. There's very little difference between death from chemical weapons and death from drones. We can change our country by, I think, organizing the poor into unions by the millions so that they can collectively bargain and challenge plantation capitalism. The task is not so much opposing the military bases as it is transforming the way in which we think about ourselves.